College Football 25 has over 134 teams to choose from. So in today's video, I went through every single one of them to find the best teams in each tier to use in College Football 25 online gameplay. So if you guys want to see what are the best teams to give you the biggest advantage, stick around after the intro. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your College Football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Never the man cheese as always. And today's going to go over the best teams to use in every tier in College Football 25. But before I do, if you guys want to see more tip videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help, you can download my ebooks instantly. Simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Now, as far as the tier system goes, I'm really going to base it off of which teams have the highest overall rated players and the teams that have the fastest speed players, because these are probably the most important things when it comes to College Football 25. Other than that, if you guys think I missed a really good team that did make my list please let us all know in the comment sections we're always looking for uh, more suggestions and other than that it's going to get right into the video next up we got texas state another sleeper squad with an 85 overall quarterback who also has 87 speed speed is going to be the thing with these lower rated teams you got an 89 overall running back with a 94 speed and two running backs that are 86 plus when you get the receiver you have two receivers that are over 84 but once again there's some speed guys hidden here two guys that are above 95 speed as this is going to be one of the better sleeper teams in the entire game uh, you also have a pretty solid offensive line with pretty much every lineman being over 80 or pretty much averaging that across the line on the defensive side though that's typically where these teams are lacking as they really only have two guys in the front seven that are above 80 uh, their top cornerback though is a 95 speed cornerback although once again he's not above 80 and uh, that's pretty much going to be the downside but their offense is absolutely loaded which is why they make this list next up we have another really good sleeper team in ucf with an 87 overall quarterback who has 86 speed and you also have a 88 speed guy to build in a dynasty although i feel like this guy here is probably going to be the best guy to play because he's almost nine points higher uh really good running backs too four running backs that are above 80 including a 91 overall 92 speed rj harvey at the top of the depth chart at receiving core they don't really have a lot they have one receiver over 85 uh other than that though they do have a 96 speed receiver hit on the depth chart and a 94 six foot two receiver hit on the depth chart as well so that'd probably be my three wide receiver set when you get to tight ends they got an 80 plus and they have an 85 overall left tackle but everybody else on the offensive line is below 80. on the defensive side they do have some pretty good uh you know linemen three down linemen that are all above 80. Uh, you also have an 88 speed linebacker here hitting on the depth chart and you also have three cornerbacks that are above 80 overall uh, but in the secondary you have three safeties that are above 80 including a 95 speed safety here who you definitely want to find space for on the field somewhere next up we got vanderbilt and this is a team that's just built on speed once again it's nate johnson fastest quarterback in the game 95 speed uh, you get to the running backs i don't really have a ton there uh, but that speed of quarterback is very helpful when you get the receiver once again 97 speed receiver only one guy over over 80 but you can make a receiving core out of that uh, when you get to their tight end one of the fastest tight ends in the game once again built on speed 88 speed eli stowers and then you get to the uh, the offensive line is really not that great the defensive line is not really going to be that great either uh, as this is really not the strength of this team this is a team that's really just a bare bones team that's completely built on speed uh, but they have it in spades especially on the offensive side of the ball next up we have another underrated team that doesn't necessarily have a ton of high overalls although you can see the first page is all 80 overall plus players but this team really makes a list because of the speed on the roster and i originally mentioned this team i think on my sleepers list because they have one of the faster quarterbacks in the game in daquan finn who's listed here as an 87 speed they have a couple of decent running backs uh, but really it's all about the receivers once you get to the receiving core monterey baldwin is a 98 speed player uh, if i go ahead and i set my roster based off of speed they also have another player here in cameron bonner who's a 95 speed player so plenty of speed there they also have an 80 overall receiver in ashton hawkins uh, to give you a really good receiving core uh tight is not really that great offensive line is really not great but when you get to the defensive side once again they do have a lot of really fast players more specifically at middle linebacker where they got a 90 speed jeremy evans a perfect user player uh, for you to run around the field with and then when you get to the secondary i mean they also have uh josh white who's an 89 speed on the outside linebacker spot when you get to the secondary pretty much everybody's over 90 speed and when you get to the safety 
50s. They have uh, DJ Coleman here's a 94 speed. Next up, we got Purdue, who has a solid quarterback uh, and solid running backs, but they make this list because they have some of the best speed in the entire game. They only have one receiver above 80 overall, but they have two receivers that are 97 and 98 speed, uh, including their second best receiver, who's 98 speed at six foot three. So that's an absolute uh, cheat code right there. Uh, decent tight end, decent offensive line, although realistically they have one of the best highest rated centers in the entire game at a 90 overall. Uh, when we get to the defense, though, not a ton there. Uh, that's pretty much their biggest Achilles heel. I mean, they got a couple of linebackers uh, and cornerbacks that are all rated above 80. They do have one of the best safeties in the entire game, but that's pretty much it. Next up, we have a team that is probably one of the fastest in the entire game in the Arkansas Razorbacks. Led by their quarterback, Taylor Green, who has a 91 speed. The running back position is solid with Jackson, but he's not necessarily fast since that's something that we're kind of looking for here. But when you get to the receiving core, their best receiver in Andrew Armstrong is only 91 speed. But if you go by speed, they have five guys that are 94 speed or higher three that are 97 speed or higher so this might be a better team to build up in a, in a dynasty or something like that because they already have a ton of speed but that speed's only really that matters so if you really want to set your roster to maximize your speed you have that for days when it comes to receiving core when it comes to tight ends they do have a very good tight uh, tight end system with two good tight ends that are over 80 uh, but they're not necessarily that fast the offensive line i think has three out of five or maybe two out of five that are above an 81 not too bad their highest rated player is landon and Jackson at defensive end and they have a really strong front four with two defensive tackles that are both above 80. Uh, when we get to the secondary they're loaded there as well with five starting caliber players or six actually uh, as far as safeties and cornerbacks are concerned that are all over 80 giving you a very deep secondary on this team. Next up, we have Colorado, and this team makes it on the list based solely off of their star-studded offensive firepower, with Shador Sanders being the number one quarterback in the game. They have an 80-plus overall running back in Dalen Hayden, but they also have Brandon Hood, who's a 96-speed running back. At their receiving core, Travis Hunter's one of the highest-rated players in the entire game, and he also has a 95-speed, but they also have Kim Mickle, who's a 96-speed, Jimmy Horn Jr., who's a 94-speed, and LeJounte Wester at a 93-speed. So tons of speed and talent there. The offensive line is solid, as they do have have a good number of 80 overall plus players uh, and then the defense has a couple of 80 overall plus players sprinkled throughout but they do have a pretty decent secondary uh, with uh, you know for three at least three players that are 80 plus overall two of them being safeties although uh, Shiloh Sanders 86 speed isn't great but like I said they mostly made the list because of their offense anyway Next up, we got Florida, the Florida Gators, and this is a team that, once again, tons of speed, offense and defense, which is really important. This has a lot of what I really look for when I pick a team. Uh, starting off a quarterback, I would start DJ Lagway because his 88 speed is just that much more impressive than uh, Graham Mertz, 74 speed. Uh, he's also an 80 overall quarterback, so that's really good. Uh, running back, they don't really have a ton of speed, but they do have a really good running back in Montel, uh, Montrell Johnson Jr., who's an 87 overall running back. At receiver, though, they're loaded. They got three receivers that are over 80. Uh, and if I go ahead and I do it by speed here, you might got to work these guys up. But you have a 97 speed, a 96 speed, and a 94 and a 95 speed. So three really fast receivers, and they also have three really high 80 overall plus receivers. Uh, when you get to tight end, they got an 86 speed tight end once again. Like I said, that's that's pretty high for this game. Uh, at offensive line, they have two guys that are over 80, but for the most part, you know, it's just an average offensive line. Defensive line is pretty average too. Uh, when you start getting back towards the cornerbacks, though, that's when you once again hit pay dirt. You got four guys that are all over 80. Uh, Jason. Marshall Jr. Or Jason Marshall Jr. being one of the highest as an 89 overall rated cornerback with a 94 overall speed as they all have very good speed. Uh, then you get to the safeties as well. They got a couple of really good safeties, uh, 280 plus overall safeties at both spots, making this a very good uh, secondary and a very solid offense. Next up, we got Tennessee and their quarterback is pretty good with 85 speed, 97 throw power, one of the better throw powers in the game. They have really great speed of running back with their starting running back having 95 speed and they have a backup with 97 speed. Uh, when you get to receiver, their number one receiver has 95 speed, so it's not a cheap speed guy, as they have four receivers that are over 80 and two that are hit on the roster that are 94, so you could definitely get them some work. Uh, solid across the board when it comes to tight end and offensive line, although when you get to the defensive side, they have one of the best defensive players in the entire game and James Pierce Jr., 88 speed defensive end they also have uh, some pretty good speed guys especially when you get to the, uh, the secondary as you have uh, one of the uh, a 95 speed uh, cornerback but overall they don't have one cornerback over 80 which kind of hurts their stock they do have uh, some pretty decent safeties but once again only one guy over 80 so their secondary is pretty bad but for the most part this team is built on offense and built on speed 
Next up, we got Texas A&M, who I think had the highest rated uh, difficulty to play as far as like the uh, the atmosphere when they put out that list, uh, which is an added bonus. They have an 88 overall quarterback who also has 95 throw power and 80 speed, very solid. 94 speed running back and four running backs in total that are all over 82. When you get to the receivers, they have four receivers that are over 80, but they're all uh, not that fast. The fastest receiver is, is only uh, 92 speed, which brings them down a notch. Plus 80 tight end, pretty much every offensive lineman is above 80. Uh, the defensive line is the same way. They got four guys on the edge alone that are all above 80, including a 90 plus defensive end. Four defensive tackles that are all above 80 as well, including an 88 overall defensive tackle. Then you get to the linebacking core, and they have only one, but with that front four, it's not really going to matter. You get to the secondary, once again, built for uh, depth. They have five guys that are all above 80, including three that are 92 speed or higher. And they also have three safeties that are all above 80 as well, with the best one being 92 speed in Bryce Anderson, uh, giving them just a really strong uh, secondary, just a really strong, pretty much every position was strong because it was built so well for depth. Next up, we got Alabama, and they might have the fastest roster in the entire game. One of the fastest quarterbacks in the game, and Jalen Milrow, who's also one of the best. Uh, at running back, they got three running backs that are over 80, and Jam Miller is a 93 speed running back. At receiver, though, they're really loaded. I mean, they have, you know, pretty much every receiver on this roster is 92 speed or higher, with a 97, a 95, and two 94 speed receivers. I mean, you're just loaded there. Kendrick Law being the fastest at 97. At tight end, they're just pretty much okay. I mean, they have a good tight end, but they really get good once again once you get to the offense offensive line they have four linemen that are rated 87 or higher and their backup left tackles at 81 so you can make this roster in a way that you basically have um, actually they have five line or six linemen that are over 80 so the, the offensive line is absolutely loaded with the best interior blocking in the game with booker brailsford and roberts all being 90 or higher uh, then you get to the uh, the defense they're not you know the dominant defense that they used to be they still have a lot of really good players uh, especially with an 83 speed uh, overton here but when you get to the linebacking core that's where the speed really comes out because robinson's an 89 speed uh, lawson's an 87 speed and campbell's a 90 speed as your starting linebackers they're all above 82 uh, which is, you know, all above 80 overall rating with about 90 speed per player. You get to the secondary once again, your best cornerback in Jackson has a 98 speed. You also got a, a 97 speed guy hitting on the roster. You also have a 91 speed and a 98 speed safety hitting on the roster. So it's like you have so much speed on this team, especially in the secondary where it counts the most and the receiving core where it counts the most. Next up, we got Texas. Two of the better quarterbacks in the entire game on one team and Quinn Ewers and Arch Manning who signed on to the game. Uh, so they got, you know, you're loaded. If you're playing Dynasty, you're going to be good at quarterback for a long time. When it comes to running backs, they got one guy who's over 80 or over 93, but they have two guys that are 80 overall plus. Uh, when it comes to receiver, lots of speed of receiver, including their best receiver in Isaiah Bond and one of their best receivers in Ryan Wingo, who are 98 and 96 speed. But in total, they have four guys that are over 95 and 294 speed receivers as well. I mean, this is just a burner receiving core. Uh, at tight end, they got one of the uh, faster tight ends in the game in uh, Niblick who's 85 overall. When you get to some of the offensive linemen, they're loaded with Calvin Banks Jr. maybe being a top 10 pick next year, 94 overall. The entire line is pretty much above 80. Uh, on defense, 86 speed defensive end and Trey Moore, which is pretty rare. Uh, lots of guys though, over 85, three across the uh, the defensive line that are over 85. Then you get to uh, the linebacker, some speed there, 87 speed, uh, two guys that are 87 speed and one guy's 86 speed. Obviously Anthony Hill Jr. is the highest rated out of all of them, 86. And you also have three cornerbacks that are over 80 overall with a couple of uh, 92 speed guys in there. Uh, at, sa at safety, they're one of the best saves in the entire game. Uh, but they also have a 96 speed safety who you should get involved as they probably have the best one-two punch with an 89 and an 88 overall uh, starting safety tandem. Next up, we have Ohio State, which probably has one of the best defenses in the entire game. They also have a lot of really great weapons around their quarterback uh, and Will Howard, and they even have a backup who's above 80. So two above 80 quarterbacks, two running backs though that are above 93, definitely the best one-two punch in the game. Speed back and Henderson power back and Judkins. Uh, you know, 94 speed though is not necessarily, um, you know, game breaking, but it's very good. I get to the receiving court, three receivers are above 80, and you also have two receivers that are above 94 speed. Not a burner on here, but you do have one of the best receivers in the game in Egbuka. Uh, then you get to the uh, tight end spot. Like I said, 86 speed for a tight end is very high. 280 plus tight ends. The offensive line is very strong, although they don't really have a left tackle that matches the rest of their roster. Their left tackle is probably their weakness, but they do have the rest of the guys are all like 85 or higher. 
Defensive line, Jack Soar is an absolute animal, 92 overall player. Uh, they have three defensive ends on the other side that are all above 80. And uh, this is one of the best defensive tackles in the game as well. So two plus 90 guys on the defensive line. Lots of speed at linebacker too. With Styles here is a 91 speed, 86 overall player. Uh, they have a bunch of 80 plus overall linebackers in total, including another one that's 87 speed on the other side. So they're loaded there, loaded in the secondary with five cornerbacks that are above 80. Uh, their best being 91 overall, and they also have a couple speed guys in here too with 94 speed, 93 speed, 94 speed hidden down here on the roster. So tons of speed in the secondary, really strong uh, safety as well. Caleb Downs, I think, is the highest rated safety in the entire game. And uh, Lathan Rams, Rams, Ransom, as I can't say his name, is also 85 plus. So this might be the best secondary in total in the entire game. Next up, we got Oregon with Dylan Gabriel being one of the highest rated quarterbacks in the entire game. Uh, two good running backs, although they're not burners, uh, but you have a solid two running back system there. Their burners are at receiver, though. Their top two receivers are 96 and 95 speed, with four receivers being over 80. A very good tight end and 88 overall. And they have and a backup tight end is an 88 or an 80 overall as well. And their entire offensive line is above 80, with their edges both being close to 90 or higher. Uh, their defensive line is really solid as well, as they have five guys that are above 80. And their linebackers have a ton of speed, uh, with guys like this guy here is 88 speed. Uh, Joe uh, Jeffrey Bassett, who's an 87 speed. Jackson, who's a 94. A 94 speed one of the fastest linebackers in the game and platt who's an 88 speed so a ton of speed there they also have three cornerbacks that are above 80 and they also have a 99 speed quarterback hitting on the roster on this in the safety position they have an 85 overall safety as well with a 97 speed safety hit on the roster there as well so you want to make sure you get these guys on the field as they have one of the better safety tandems in the game uh and they just have a ton of speed all over the, all over the entire team Next up, Georgia might have the best roster in the entire game as they have a 90, 93 overall quarterback in Carson Beck who was tied for the highest rating for a quarterback in the game. Uh, really good running backs. Three running backs over 80 with a 91 speed. Trevor, Trevor Etienne being the uh, number one lead running back. At receiver, five receivers over 80 overall. Uh, and they also have two 98 speed receivers hitting on the depth chart along with a 95 and a 94 speed receiver. So tons of speed there. Tons of speed at uh, tight end as well as their top two tight ends are an 88 and a 90 overall respectively with Oscar Delp having an A6 speed uh, as the high, one of the higher speed tight ends in the entire game. Insane numbers on the offense. They got back Backup linemen that are over 80 on offense and defensive line, as well as maybe the highest rated offensive lineman in the game and Tate Rutledge at a 95. Uh, as their offensive line is loaded, defensive line is loaded as well. Got an 88 overall uh, nose tackle to go with four 80 plus overall defensive linemen. Their linebackers are loaded, uh, especially when it comes to speed. As they have an 88 speed linebacker who's a 93 overall, an 89 speed linebacker who's a, who's a 89 overall, a 94 speed linebacker, which might be the fastest. Uh, this guy right here, they're all every linebacker in their middle, <laughs> every middle linebacker they have is over 80 and three of them are over 88 speed that's insane you also have uh this guy here contavious johnson is an 89 speed uh, but they once again have two more linebackers i mean their linebacking court is just so loaded then you get to the secondary they have four corners that are all over uh, 80 once again this one here is probably the best with his 98 speed but they also have a 93 speed six foot one guy six foot two is 95 speed i mean this is just insane they're all six foot or higher and they're all 93 speed or higher which is just incredible and i didn't even see they got a 96 speed guy down here just hiding uh, which you can find i'm sure you can find a place for maybe coming on a cornerback blitz or something like that their safeties are insane too three safeties that are all over 80 obviously Malake Starks is one of the best with a 93 speed and uh you know Bolden here 94 speed I mean this is just insane uh how good this uh this this entire team is so I'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this I have them popping up on screen so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out